It's time for Hands on Mac. Hi, I'm Leo Laporte. This week, I'm going to show you the single most important thing you can do to secure your Macintosh. Stay tuned. Hands on Mac is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? LastPass can ensure they are by making access and authentication seamless. Whether they're working in the office or remotely, visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on Mac is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Hey, everybody, it's Leo Laporte. Time to talk about the Macintosh, my favorite little computer. Now, I don't know about you, uh, but if you carry your Mac out of the house, if you have a MacBook Pro, a MacBook Air, or just a MacBook, and you take it out of the house, you're taking a little bit of a risk because if you should lose that laptop, and it happens all the time, then a bad guy would not only have access to it, but have the opportunity and time and leisure to bang at that hard drive until he can get in. Merely having a login to protect your Macintosh does not keep the bad guy from getting the data that's on your hard drive. So think about what's on your hard drive and then think about turning on File Vault. File Vault 2 came out with OS X Lion and it is really good full disk encryption. It uses XTS AES encryption, which is kind of the standard for whole disk encryption. It's what TrueCrypt used, what its successor VeraCrypt uses. It's what Microsoft uses for BitLocker. It makes sure that that disk is encrypted in such a way that a bad guy can't get it. But it gets out of your way because it's unencrypted the minute you log into your Mac. File Vault is on by default on many modern Macs. Anything with that T2 chip built in your iMac Pro, your Macintosh Pro, and modern MacBook Pros all have that T2 chip. And the reason Apple turns it on by default is the encryption is handled by the T2 hardware and is so fast, it's almost transparent. The only time you'll know you have File Vault turned on is when you first turn on your computer and type in your password. Because, and you may have noticed this, that's when that progress bar starts, and it's pretty slow at first. That's because it's unlocking the hard drive before it can continue on with the boot. That's the only time File Vault is even apparent. On older Macs that don't have a T2 chip, you have to turn on File Vault, but I strongly recommend you do that. It's here in the control panel under Security and Privacy. And if you go to the second tab in File Vault, this is actually really all you need to know. File Vault secures the data on your disk by encrypting its contents automatically. It is very hard for an attacker who doesn't have quantum grade computing technology, in other words, some big three letter agency, to break through this encryption. Certainly, nobody who steals your laptop is going to be able to get to the hard drive. In the normal use of File Vault, it uses your login password to decrypt your data. And File Vault will give you an opportunity, if you want, to store that special unlock key on iCloud, which allows you to unlock your disk and reset your login password if you should forget it. Now, that's an option which you don't have to use. And if you want ultimate security, you may not want to use. But I strongly suggest that you do use it because otherwise, if you forget your login to that laptop, you're going to have to wipe the drive and start over. Anything that's on that laptop is lost forever. But you do have that option. You'll also be given a recovery key. If you decide not to use the iCloud backup, do set the recovery key and keep it in a safe place because that can also be used to unlock the disk. But it's very important to keep that secure and safe because an attacker who has the recovery key can get in as well. I turn on File Vault on every disk I use, every disk I create. It is a very important way to protect your privacy. And because it in, on modern Macs, it doesn't get in the way, it doesn't slow you down, it really is a painless way to keep yourself safe. There's one other thing you might want to know about that uses the File Vault technology, and I really like it. It's called, you know, it, Disk Utility. <clears throat> and perhaps you've seen this capability with the disk utility, but never knew what it was all about. It's possible to create a new volume on your existing disk using the encrypted setting. In this case, APFS, which is the modern Apple file system. 
case sensitive encrypted. I'm going to enter a password. You're going to want to write this down. It is not your login password. It is a password you create. You can also create a hint. Note, and I love this feature. We should talk about this on another hands-on Mac. That little key there, that means you can get Keychain if you want to generate a strong password and keep track of it. That might be the best way to do it. Let's do a truly random and let's do a really long password. And then let's generate it again. <clears throat> that truly long password, high quality, 24 key, uh, 24 uh, character, truly random. If I use that, now don't lose it, <laughs> but no attacker should be able to get into it. So I'm going to create, let's do it actually. I think that's a good idea. I'm now creating an encrypted volume on here uh, using, and let's name it, you know, something uh, indescript like hidden cash. Maybe don't name it that. Name it something like addresses, something a bad guy won't attack. But the nice thing is this volume is now available to me on my Macintosh, and anything I put in there will be encrypted the minute I log out. So this is kind of an additional handy way to create a separate, highly secure cache on your system. You'll notice it shows up down here under locations. I don't have anything in it right now, but I can drag any file to it and it will be stored in this encrypted volume on my main hard drive. And even if somebody gets my hard drive and let's say I forgot to turn on file vault, I put the most important stuff. That's where you'd put your tax returns, your social security numbers, things like that. It is case sensitive. So when you type in that password, make sure you keep track of it. And if you use Keychain to generate it, that's probably a good idea because Keychain will remember it and uh, make it a little bit easier to unlock it. But now it's it's just like any other uh, finder window. I can let's uh, let's create a new window. I can drag files. Uh, from this regular Finder folder into my encrypted folder. And when I close it, it is encrypted and cannot be read by anybody. That's another feature of File Vault that's not commonly known. Again, my recommendation, and it's something I do, I turn File Vault on every single time I get a new computer. I make sure I turn it on before I put anything on there. It's important on a solid state drive to do that because it's virtually impossible to erase everything on a solid state drive. Even a secure erase will leave tidbits of data unencrypted lying around in Slack space on a solid state drive. So before I put anything of importance, anything of value on a solid state drive, I always turn on full disk encryption. If it's on a Macintosh, I turn on File Vault. Use File Vault. It's safe. It's fast. It won't get in your way. Even on an older Mac, you can use it without slowing yourself down. Again, the only time you ever really notice it is when you first turn on that computer and type in your password, it starts unlocking it. And that takes just a few seconds. But it's a noticeable delay before the rest of the boot process continues. And don't forget that you can use Disk Utility to create any arbitrary number of uh, encrypted volumes, they're, they're sparse volumes, so they only get as big as they need to be to store the stuff you put in there. Think of it as just like a special extra hidden place on your hard drive. It's really good to have. Um, that's, that's my tip. That's File Vault in a nutshell. Use it. Stay safe. Our show today brought to you by the company that keeps you safe, our good friends at LastPass. It's always important to have a plan for the unexpected LastPass can be deployed quickly, even in the midst of a crisis, any event, to ensure your business keeps running smoothly and every employee login is secure. Single sign-on manages employee access in a centralized view, so IT always has insight into who has access to what from where. LastPass protects while providing a seamless workflow for your employees. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash Twit. That's it for this edition of Hands on Mac. I'm Leo Laporte. I'll see you next Friday. Make sure to subscribe. Get this in your device, on your Mac, or uh, on your YouTube every, uh, every time it's available on Friday. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Check out other shows here on Twit TV, including my show, Hands on Photography. On this show, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your camera, as well as be a better post-processor. So head on over to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe now.